a young guy approached a Zen master and requested guidance on how to declutter his thoughts. Bring me a teacup, said the Zen master. The young man followed instructions. The teacup was filled with tea by the Zen master. Now empty the teacup, the Zen teacher commanded. The young man attempted to pour the tea out of the cup, but it kept pouring. The Zen master remarked that you couldn't drain the teacup. Your mind is like to a teacup. It is stuffed with ideas and thoughts. You cannot force your mind to empty itself. You need to practice letting go. The young man gave this some serious thinking. The Zen master had a point, he realized. By attempting to empty his mind, he was unsuccessful. It was a lesson he had to acquire. The young man started to think. He discovered how to let go of his thoughts and worries and concentrate on the here and now. His mind was getting more and more clear as he meditated. The young guy approached the Zen teacher one day and declared, I have emptied my mind. Go fill it up again, the Zen teacher said with a smile. The boy was perplexed, but, he said, I believed the point was to empty my head. The Zen teacher remarked, Emptying your mind is not the goal. Being free is the aim. You can plainly perceive the world when your mind is clear. You have the freedom to fully take in the present. It's okay to be who you are. Moral of the story, the story of the teacup and the Zen master serves as a metaphor for the application of mindfulness. The practice of mindfulness involves being in the moment without passing judgment. When we are conscious, our minds are not preoccupied with anxieties and thoughts. We are able to perceive the world clearly and truly inhabit the present. The moral of the story is that we cannot compel our minds to be empty. Only by letting go of our thoughts and worries can we truly empty our brains. When we let go, we give ourselves the opportunity to completely experience the present.